Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're in the creepy basement where we're gonna be continuing the battery project the well four kilowatt hour lithium ion battery projects which is made out of 18650s and this video is sponsored by my patrons i do encourage you to go check me out on patreon where people support me and i get to buy awesome equipment that i can do videos about uh, january is kind of a hard month for everyone especially youtubers because the the youtube revenue just after christmas it seems to be the same way with a couple of patrons because well yeah i lost a couple of patrons in january so if you want to help me out there there's a couple of seats available here in january um yeah so thank you very much uh, this is the charge controller that is going to be controlling the lithium ion bank and it's a well we're not going to see it in this video more than i'm just poking it around here but um yeah we're going to be mounting some bms's on the battery banks let's go to the table so here on the table we have well three of the four battery banks because i need that battery bank with the bms up here to um well just do the same thing on the two next ones so that they are alike and i do actually have the bms's here they came in <laughs> months ago and i bought uh, about well i have the two that i need and i have a um i have a spare one as well um after i started this project these are now available in um well not exactly this one but they have come out with some new ones where you can control them or monitor them through bluetooth and all kind of good stuff and i am a bit envious on that but well they are also a bit more expensive uh, bms like this i believe it's 12 14 dollars or something so it's not that expensive and uh, yeah what it does is that it it's protects the batteries and it makes sure that each of those uh, 14p that means that there are 14 um, batteries in series there's 140 here but each of them um, consists of 10 cells so it balances out those 10 cells with the well all the other banks of 10 cells so that no battery is um, gets out of order well it tries to keep them in order at least so uh, yeah we're gonna be mounting one of those on each of those two cells so we need to this one can go back in the back so i need the batteries to look like this one up here and um, yeah it must be hard to see but i need to drill some holes for these battery measurement devices to come out and i have the wires for the bms here oh this one has a nasty burn to it what have they done here this looks used and some of the cables need to go this way and some of the cables need to go that way and i want it to be exactly like that one so um, yeah i need to drill some holes there 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 and I might as well do that at the same time on both of the banks just to optimize um, how fast i can do this don't want to waste a lot of time and we have the have the hot glue gun i must admit i have used this way more than i thought i would it has been very neat it's very easy to use and you always kind of just have it at hand compared to having to um, to find power for another one so drill bits and i need the uh, i need a drill bit that is about the same thickness as the cables Mm, this will do nicely oops that's not good and the longer the drill bit is the slaughter the chance of breaking it there and then I'll, I'm just gonna drill the same holes as on on the battery up there so that one Okay, it's actually in the middle of each of the bus bars, so that's kind of easy. I 
Okay, that was easy. We managed that. Let's go to the other side. Kind of see where where that has to go. Uh, that's the side with all the fuses, so I'm trying to be careful there. Those fuses are a lot of work. So, um, this is very much alike. Well, there's a thing key here connecting these two, and there's a thing key here connecting these two, and so on. And I haven't installed those on the new batteries yet. I need to do that at some point. So, uh, yeah, we, we're gonna have to do that at some point. But right now we are drilling, so we need to drill a hole. Uh, the black wire comes out here, and then there is nothing, and then there is this one, and that one, uh, it helps if, if I line these up, lined up, so that one. And also the last one, okay. Cool, holes are drilled. Continue. So if I place, which I am gonna do. Oh, this is a spider web of hot glue thinking. If I place the BMS the same spot, uh, I have six wires going down this way and I have the rest going up this way. So with the new ones, I can kind of count six that has to go that way and the rest has to be bended around and go upwards. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Those go up and these goes around. Somewhat like that. And then I just bring the cables out uh, the the right holes and the black one has to go all the way down there So that's the That's the easy one. It's color-coded <laughs> Okay, it might not be that easy There black wire Go through that hole Comes out there Good And I'll do the same thing with the rest of them. Okay, if this doesn't look like a bomb, I don't know what it looks like, but it's a mess of wires because the BMS needs to measure the voltage. It's 10 cells, which is a battery. So there's a tiny little wire that goes out to each of these cells to measure the voltage, comparing them to all the other batteries and making sure that they are the same. Um, so. The wires, the red one goes out to these 10 cells, then there's a white one that goes out to these 10 cells, and so on and so forth down the road here. And I see that I have a problem here. I have a really bad spot welding connection here. That's that needs a that needs a improved welding connection. That's that sucks. So I just turn on the soldering. Uh, we need to fix that before I forget about it. So, that's irritating. Oh, it, is. it is on one of them, but well, that one is definitely not on. So, ah, okay. Yeah, we need to fix that. So, we have some solder. Uh, we'll just make that good. It does not care about that. Oh, I got a really good connection suddenly. I have uh, fixed some bad Oh, what do you call those um, spot welding joints? So now I think we have to, or we need to, to mount this 
BMS. Try and get some of these cables out of the way. God damn, go away. And it has to sit right there. So let's mount it. Nothing is connected yet. Well, this connection don't connect that before everything else is done. But I want to I want to glue this BMS to this to the contraption here. So we need to we need to do that. And I need to use a lot of this hot glue because I want, don't want it to come off. And I ran out. Come on. For crying out loud. It's not going according to plan. This bloody thing which I just talked so nicely about is acting up. Guess that must be good enough. Okay, I lied. You got to see that box again. Um, I'm, I'm just using it to keep the BMS down while the glue is, uh, is cooling down. So yeah, I have done uh, that one and that one. So um, now I need to do something about all these wires. Try and uh, make sure that they can reach and then we'll hot glue those down as well. Over here we have the negative wire of the power bank. Um, it goes up to the BMS here, but it goes down here and it goes through and connects to the negative side of the battery uh, over here. We need to make um, need to make holes for that. And I have some 10 millimeter, oh, six millimeter square wire here. I believe it's the same that I have used for that one. So we're gonna be doing that. And I found a drill bit, which will do the hole. Um, I think it will do the hole. So put a bit more hot glue on here to keep these tiny wires in place. So uh, yeah, and just, just look at how cool this is. Ka-ching! Drill bit. Okay, once more. Ready to go. And we don't want to mess anything up, so we... I have mounted the wire here, the, the negative wire. Um, and it, well, it's not that pretty right here. So I don't know if I can fix that. Uh, probably not. Maybe a bigger hammer. Nah, don't break it. Um, so the negative wire comes out here, the negative side of the belt. I forgot to check that, but it is the negative side of the battery goes into the BMS and then the negative wire goes out this way and ready to have a connector connected at some time point. So yeah, so far so good. And they have a really good connection down here on the little PCB on here. There's a really long place for it to be soldered on. So it's not going anywhere. I mounted the red wire on them as well, the positive wire that just goes in down here to the positive, well, the most positive of the battery banks. Right now I'm getting ready to, to mount these small wires on, on one side. Oh, I need to oh, release that one. And yeah, they need to be shortened up and somewhat. So on this one up here, I used some holes that was there. I filled those up with hot glue, so I have to come up with something else here. Hmm. I have been working without you. Um, so now, well, it's almost done this one. I've even mounted the in-between thinkies here, so um, I should actually measure 48 volts out here. Actually, probably a little bit more. Let's get the multimeter and see if we're right about that. So now it should be dangerous DC voltage are we in view we are in view so let's point this at the negative and 52.4 volts so yeah it's um, it's charged 
don't short circuit those <coughs> and I need to mount that tiny little connector on there I probably shouldn't have um, mounted both of them before I did that hmm so I mounted that very dangerous connection out there and well before we um, connect a lot of dangerous stuff here I wanted to make sure that I had connected everything right um, also put a safety tape on one side so that uh, you can't touch it as easily I uh, know you want to but it's difficult so I've, I've made a little diggity bob here with uh, the multimeter uh, connected to uh, the positive leave here and I have a little needle here and I can go through these different can you see the multimeter uh, let's check that it's not that great so let's try and move it over here mm, better ish there that's a lot better so um all these tiny wires that I have connected so if I go for the first one we should have one battery voltage and we have 3.8 that's good then next we are at seven point seven that's two batteries then we jump to 11 15 19 23 27 31 35 39 43 46 50 and 54 point something and this is just to make sure that all of these little balancing leads are in the right order so otherwise it's not going to work very well so more or less this battery is done now um just need to heat shrink something out here and then we're done very nice so kind of a big moment the bms has been mounted the battery is done can go on the shelf the other two and I just need to finish this one, which is not far behind. Whew, there we are. The last battery is also done. Oh, this tape is not connecting very well. So, yeah. But, yeah, let's put that up besides the other one. Should we just, well, I might as well just leave do a bit of a photo shoot here now that I'm at it let's have all four batteries on the table and yeah, that might look nice yeah it looks nice hmm let's see let's do a thumbnail shall we so that took a while and um, yeah while I've been working the new video from last week where I did the fuses has been um, up on YouTube so I have to read the comments on that and see if anyone has good suggestions on how to combine the two uh, where is it the the charge controllers so I can have my lead acid and my lithium ion bank uh, connected together and then working together to supply enough voltage and current and power to the inverter um, yeah, I did get a very good suggestion from my editor, my awesome editor Carl Bon from Holland who edited last week's video and he suggested some big beefy diodes. So yeah, we might go that way, but I have to go check if anyone has other suggestions. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. Join me over at Patreon and have a really nice day. Bye bye.